Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you today? We're here to do your reading, your general love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Pisces for thoughts, feelings, actions, and intentions of your love interest. The first thing we're going to do is get the overall energy taking place between you to start the reading. Okay. To a fire, both of you feel as though you have to make a decision about your relationship. It's time. The paths are going off in different directions. Magician card. The card of manifestation. So we have Aries energy and we have Virgo and Gemini energy. You have manifested a new beginning and a time in your path where you need to make a decision. Okay, so let's see, Pisces, what else is the energy that you have with your person? Five of Fire, it looks like there's a little bit of ego-driven ego conflict here. Either that or one of you has to really, you're spending a lot of time dealing with a lot of fires in your job. You're taking care of a lot of people. So it does look like your mutual energy means that you're busier than you would like to be. You would like to spend more time. This looks like a cute card, though. It isn't overwhelmingly negative. It's just like, I'm super busy. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm dancing to stay alive. Six of Wands, victory, beautiful. That is the potential engagement card. You will be, this looks like a lot of competing ideas or decisions that you have in which you have to make a choice. And now I'm getting Six of Wands. You, the two of you will set out on a brand new path of victory, waving that flag overhead. A lot of Leo energy going into the future boldly and bravely and very publicly. The two of you are very much sequestered away right now. You're not really telling other people what you think about the relationship and where you're going to go at this time in your lives. That seems very private to both of you. You're both being very careful in what you say to each other also. So how do they, what do they think about you, Pisces? Your person thinks that you're super sweet, kind, nurturing, loving psychic. They see you as just an absolutely deep person. They always, they also think of you as being very precise. You have a great no BS detector. So that is, that is very much Libra energy. Your person Pisces really thinks that you are just exceptionally beautiful. The way you love is very tender and very kind. But you don't put up with any BS. I like that. That's what they think about you. <clears throat> the Eight of Cups says, excuse me. <clears throat> the Eight of Cups says that your person knows that if something doesn't serve you, you leave it behind. They see you as a person who does not want to juggle to. They don't see you as a person who likes to do that that any situation that requires that, you know, your person would really, your person sees you, Pisces, as someone who's very romantic, but also very practical. This very much reminds me of the same energy. You know, yes, it could be juggling too, it's working too hard, maybe even working two jobs, but it also shows that your person, Pisces, feels as though you have really good judgment Look at this, Pisces, they view you as a very romantic person. That's how they think of you. Bare-chested romance coming in with a big cup of love. Ooh, sexy. <clears throat> Let's see what their feelings are in their heart space, Pisces. What are the feelings in the heart space of Pisces person? The feelings in the heart space of Pisces person. Love, beautiful, oh my goodness. The two of you may have been together for a long time. I would say it's a mature relationship. You know, you know each other very well for the most part. The children, you might have known this person from childhood, but that is a soulmate of the minor arcana. Ace of coins, look at that. In their heart space, they're going to make an offer. 
So it's not just a gesture of a flower. There is a significant gesture of a future together coming in, Pisces. Eight of Wands, very sexy energy. You have a lot going on, but it is also all about passion, all about moving forward rapidly in your relationship. Your person has passion in their heart for you. They have love for you. They feel very much that you are their future and they're moving brightly into the future. They All the fireworks, well, we know what that means in sex education class, right? Fireworks, hmm, how metaphorical. Look at this beautiful energy of Sagittarius energy. Your person feels as though you're really balanced. You are like an angel to them in their life. They love how you are with them. They feel as though you blend so well. Your person, though, is under a lot of stress and strain right now, Pisces. It does look like there's just too much going on in their lives. Your person feels as though they don't have enough time to really be a good partner right now. The Emperor card is all about their intentions with you, Pisces. Your person is taking charge of their life right now. They're moving ahead in a very, very powerful way. They are looking for answers so that they have more time. They don't want you to get bored. They feel as though both of you, you have a guardian angel hiding behind this tree that's going to bring in something that this person is working on manifesting. So your person is really working on this emperor energy, leadership energy, making a definite decision about moving forward. The moon card says whatever they're working on is secret. It's not known to the public. This is a queen of fire. You may be dealing with an Aries queen, but your person is absolutely going, is manifesting a new destiny for themselves. This Aries energy, the Aries queen and the Aries emperor. Two of Cups, oh my gosh. When your person achieves this goal, they want for the two of you, their intention is for the two of you to marry. So it's really gorgeous energy. They're very, your person's very sensitive to the, to the timing. In terms of their actions, this is King of Cups energy. They don't necessarily talk about how much they love you. But what we see here is that they are going to behave, their actions are going to be very trustworthy, very honorable, very deep love. You can completely trust this person, Pisces. Right now, this person is unable to make a decision uh, in terms of what I see as a work situation, something that will impact the relationship. They're very sensitive to your well-being and they know that they can't make a decision without you. Beautiful energy. It looks as though the two of you are going to go through a period of time, probably sometime within the next 20 weeks, you know, approximately five months. And you are going to possibly even move someplace where it is warmer. You are both studying the situation now, but especially your person. Your person is very, very devoted to knowing what the right answer is. This looks like a commitment that is pending uh, the absolute decision-making process until a work situation moves forward very rapidly and your person is holding it close to their best, but you really understand this, Pisces. You're super psychic. So let's take a look and see what the Moonology Oracle has here for advice about the situation. I am gonna clarify a couple of cards not much though this is quite a lovely reading the energy is very very simplistic very straightforward i love that for you pisces so let's see what pisces should take into account what is spirit advising pisces to do in this connection at this time conclusions are within reach okay timing is everything right now you're on the verge of something new. Have faith in your dreams. Your person shares your dreams. We have Aries energy, time to take action. Again, I feel as though that time to take action could be four to five months from now, given that we're looking at the Emperor card, which is the number four. 
and the uh, card of judgment. Balance, spirituality, full moon in Pisces. There you are in your reading, Pisces. And it's time to give rather than take. So Pisces, your person understands right now, they're very illuminated and enlightened about how much you, they're working two jobs is what it looks like. It looks as though they're, they sometimes worry that you'll get bored, that you'll want to go somewhere else, but then you come through for them. You always come through for them, Pisces. Really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. So let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Wands at the top. What is causing this sense of um, competing situations? I feel that both of you are super busy. I feel that you're manifesting a future and you need private time, you know, work from home kind of environment with which to have this victory. Yes, there we go. Pisces, look at that Cancerian energy. Sometimes Pisces is the ruler of the high priestess, it can be. Oh, wow. You are bored without your person having time for you. But I'm getting that this is work-related. I get that though you're bored, you're very supportive of what they're doing. You're nurturing them. As they nurture what they have to do, it looks like a creative project with the Five of Wands. That is Leo energy. So it is something that takes active involvement to move it forward. Mars and Pisces, or Mars and Leo. Nine of Cups, look at you. You're, you this person is your happily, this is your happy place. You, the sun is here for you. The sun is here. You've never been happier than when you've been with this person, Pisces. You find this relationship to be very rich, very rewarding, filled with laughter, filled with joy, eat, drink, and be merry. The two of you know how to have fun. And this is your wish comes true, quite literally. All right, that's what I see for you, Pisces. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful reading. It looks like you and your person are just ticking along here, really, really being very supportive of one another, working through um, a, a transitional period of time in your relationship. Sending you love from Chicago, Pisces. Send some back and tell me where you're from. <laughs>